Mac Monroe here with the last episode. Well, it's actually the first video podcast blog video we're going to do. Uh, it just happens to be the last one of 2022. So we're going to talk today about rebooting, rebooting. So I don't know about you, if you can remember the very first time you ever looked at a computer, but I can remember mine exactly the way it was. 1984, I was new to the Navy, stationed overseas at a place called Navcom Stay Harold E. Holt, Exmouth, Western Australia. I was in the dental clinic, and so uh, my job, of course, was handing dentist instruments and sucking blood and spit. I had been there, I guess, about six months, and we received a large box to the combined medical and dental clinic. We called it the dispensary. This is before you sold weed in dispensaries a long time ago. But uh, it was a computer. It was a Toshiba T100. And so I don't have a picture, but I can try to describe it. You could probably Google one. It was this green monochrome monitor, about that big maybe, and it had molded keyboard. It was like an all-in-one unit, and there was two floppy disk drives. We had no idea why we got it. That was what Navy Medicine would do, is send you technology and then not tell you why it's there. And then a year later, hey, aren't you using this new computer we sent you? Uh, so none of us really knew how to do it or what we were going to use it for. Well, as we started thinking about it, the, the opportunity was we could start tracking our dental patients on those. And that was a very early database. I didn't understand how to use it. And mercifully, there was one of the medical corpsmen in the medical part of our dispensary who was actually pretty computer literate. His name was Jeff Moore. And Jeff tutored me. He taught me what a bit and a byte was. That's the basic parts. And then I had a couple of friends that worked at the Air Force Solar Observatory, and those guys knew computers already. So but between the three of them, the three people, I had figured out how to use a computer. My first computer was an Apple IIc. Uh, Google that one if you want to see it. Little tiny, um, I can't remember if it was color or monochrome. I don't remember. But it had a little keyboard, and I loved it. It had a little Apple printer that went with it. But all of my friends were saying, you, you shouldn't use an Apple. They're not really that great. You should get a, a PC. They called it an IBM compatible. And so there was this catalog that we used to get, and I ordered one. And it was going to be the last computer I'd ever need. This thing had a whopping 20 megabyte hard drive in it. And it had two floppy disk drives, one for the three and a half inch, the little black ones, and then the five and a quarter, the little flexible floppy disks and a green monochrome monitor, and I embraced that thing, and I learned everything there was to learn about it. Well, we transferred from that place. I transferred to Long Beach, California, got more interested in computers, bought my second computer because that one, I had it in my garage, and it got dust in there, and one day I was working on it, and it just caught on fire. Uh, the dust had got inside this thing, and so it became the first of many computers, and I became kind of like a computer expert, and uh, then my job was teaching other people and fixing computers. And one thing I learned about fixing computers is bottom line is the easiest way to fix a computer is reboot it, right? Turn it off, turn it back on. A lot of times it is fixed. And today we even do that too with our phones, right? You get some new software update, you have to restart your phone or reboot it. So when we talk about reboot, and by the way, this is our 2023 word of the year. It is basically restarting something that you've been working toward. And so rebooting a computer or a piece of technology is one way to kind of restart it with everything you've learned and downloaded now fixed and it works better. So that's one way to kind of think about it. Um, the other challenge though, is that for many of us, we're trying to figure out what we want to do to be successful. And our company is no different. We've learned a lot of lessons, most of them the hard way, but every lesson learned, we sort of piecemeal it in together. Our goal is to take everything we've learned and put it all together at one time and streamline that and make that better. So we are essentially going to reboot some of the processes that we use. Um, a third way we see reboots, and this is the one I guess I don't like, is movies, right? I, I am, if you've been to my workshops, you know, I love old movies. And I think the reason I love old movies is I used to watch a lot of movies when I was younger, but I don't watch them all that much anymore. I think the last movie I saw in the theater was Top Gun Maverick, because I think a movie like that, you deserve to see that in a big theater. But what I'm seeing, and anytime you go to the movie, all you see is coming soon, Superman 17, Spider-Man 6, uh, all of these superhero movies, which I don't like at all, by the way, but everybody, they're rebooting. How many Spider-Men have we had? How many Hulks? How many Supermen? 
going all the way back to George Reed, way back in the 50s, right? Everything's reboot, 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 as if the public didn't know, my God, there was other Superman movies before this? Sometimes a reboot is ridiculous. But I think all of us need to think about rebooting as we move into this next year. So I want to offer you some suggestions on rebooting for the next year. So suggestion number one, set some goals for what you want to do this year. Some of these goals might be short term. Hey, by the time we hit uh, Valentine's Day, I want to do this. By the time we get to uh, Easter, I want to do this or whatever. You know, so some will be short term. Some will be long-term goals. By the end of the year, here's the thing I want to do. And then some are really, really big goals. Like you could say, well, I want to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Okay, that's a massive goal. And I think the key is when somebody laughs at your goal, you know it's big enough. That's So think about what goals you're trying to do. After all, with no goals, there's no point rebooting anything, right? Suggestion number two, after we set goals, look at your scoreboard. Think about what you did this past year. How many wins versus how many losses? I think we have the tendency to look at only one of those two. Like this year was great. Look at all the awesome things we did. Or this year sucked. Look at all the things that didn't work for us. Look at everything. Look at your win-loss total. And I think you may find that there's a lot of wins you never counted that on reflection, those are wins. You want to maximize those. Implement those as you start rebooting. And then stuff that didn't work for you, well, we leave that stuff out or we fix it. Step three, then, after we've set new goals and looked at our scoreboard, identify resources you will need to achieve these goals, whether it's training, opening up your network, getting yourself a coach, line up those resources, and then set some checkpoints throughout the year so you can measure your progress. And if you ever wonder why you automatically slow down when you go through one of those areas where they have the sign and it says, you know, speed limit 45, your current speed is 55. And we all like, oh my God, I better slow down. That's instant feedback. And sometimes we need that on the way. So think about some checkpoints through the year that you're going to measure your progress. And then make sure you're surrounding yourself with some really, really encouraging and helpful people. There's going to be some of your friends that are ideally suited for this because they're always positive. They're in your corner. They're always supportive. And then you also got those naysayers, right? The ones for every great solution, they can come up with 75 problems you never thought of before. You need those folks as well. You need them in a balance because one extreme over the other is not going to really help you. So now we've kind of teed ourselves up for our reboot. So the last step is you shut down and you reopen. We're at the perfect time of year right now, if you think about it. So we'll date stamp the podcast. Today is December the 20th. We got about another 10 days or 11 days before we hit to the end of the month. And then of course, January 1st, and then it's the new year. So, you know what I'd recommend if you have the time to do it, take some time over the next week, work through this process. And then as soon as you've got it, then shut down. I know that all of us say we're going to take time off on the holidays and I'm one of those people that is determined to do it this year. I've got a couple of things I got to get done, but sometimes just completely shutting off and then restarting with all of your new stuff ready to go sets you up for some success. And so my hope is as we wind down 2022 and we look into 2023, maybe we're no longer in survival mode. You know, we've been in survival mode since 2020. We've just been trying to stay around and stay alive and stay relevant. Maybe it's time we get back to business. And I hope that 2023 is a year of success for you. We obviously hope it's a year of success for us too. So if you've enjoyed this, just reply back to the email or leave a comment in the video. But I'm looking forward to some awesome things in 2023. And I hope you are as well. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your year. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you in January, ready to hit it hard in 2023.